Okay, I have a very interesting radical question for you guys. Here we have square root of 27 raised to the power of square root of 3. And I give you guys choices. This one is equal to which of these? You know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, let me tell you. The answer is B. And this is super cool because you see originally the base is square root of 27 and now it becomes the power. And originally the power is square root of 3 and now it becomes the base. Yeah, in this particular case, we just switch the base and also the exponent. Yeah, really cool, huh? And in fact, I have done a video to show you guys how you can find a lot more such pairs. Namely, x to the y's power is equal to y to the x power. I will have the link to this video in the description for your convenience if you are interested. But now, let me just verify with you guys that they are indeed equal. This is how we can do it. Let's look at the square root of 27 first. Firstly, we can write the square root as the one half power. So this right here is the same as, you know, 27, and then here we have the one half power, and then I'll keep the square root of three power right here. And then for the inside, 27 is the same as three times three times three, and that is three to the third power. So that's for 27. So this is good, because now we can just multiply this and that. So multiply the powers. So the inside is going to give us 3 raised to the 3 over 2 power. And then we still have the square root of 3 power. Okay. Wow. Then how is it going to give us that though? Check this out. We can multiply this power, right? And then what we are going to do next is that I'm going to kind of multiply this power and that power, but not the entire 3 over 2 but rather just the 3 with that and then the 1 half stay inside with the 3 for the inside so let's look at this as 3 raised to the 1 half power and then this 3 to the square root of 3 power right here okay what's 3 to the 1 half power that's just the square root of 3 as we mentioned earlier and then in fact square root of 3 times 3 we can do the following. When we have 3 square root of 3, this 3 is the same as saying square root of 9. Yeah? And then times square root of 3. And now they are both passing itself the square roots, so we can actually just multiply them and we will just get square root and keep that and then 3 times 9, we get 27. So this power right here is just square root of 27. That's why it's equal to B. Cool, huh? So, again, this is super cool because the base and the exponent commute, meaning that you can just switch them and then they will still give you the same value. It does not work all the time. Just for this particular case, it also works. If you want to see how to find out more pairs like this, check out my other video for it. And if you want to see more algebra videos, then check out 